Motor racing is a family code and there are all kinds of examples in the paddock here at the mountain of how it is passed down from one generation to the next. Supporting Ben Grice this weekend in the Trans Ams is his dad Alan, two time winner of the great race. Fantastic to have you back here. Are you a good passenger though? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to look forward to this. You're going to you're going to take us for a lap around the mountain, which I'm looking forward to. Look, I've hit some things in my time, but never a pace car. So <laughs> let's uh, let's hope we don't do that one. But every lap around here is what a privilege, and, and to, to share this occasion with Dad um, couldn't be more proud. So let's get into it. Let's go. Pretty flash, aren't they? Yeah. Hey, this is a cool opportunity. You would have been about what three months old when Dad won in 1990. What sort of impact growing up did he have on you with you know, motor racing and it's clearly filtered down? Wow, um, yeah, you're right. Three months old in 1990. Um, but yeah, I got the bug and um, yeah, I can't get rid of it. Fans will remember the, the Chickadee Commodore win in, in 86. And, A lot of people do, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, and then, then even the pride when you went on to, to win for the, for the factory team. But the thing that sticks in my mind, Benny, is, is very much what you do now. It, it was the battle of privateer, it was the persistence, mate, and that sort of defines you, doesn't e it? Exactly right, persistence, and, and uh, I got hooked into that wall right there uh, a few years ago in a Toyota 86, 86 and uh, ended up with a couple of spinal um, surgeries out of that and still had the foolishness or maybe persistence to, um, to, to come back and, and, you know, never give up. So that's something that certainly watching Dad's career, he never did. and. Uh, yeah, I never will either. Bit of a late bloomer, but... Well, let, let's talk about that, because the the ambition, you, you describe yourself as a, a late bloomer there. I mean, what were you... You were 44, I think, when you won your first one, weren't you? Yes, I was. And 48. And uh, it was a hot year, 48. <laughs> temperature. And uh, when I got out of the car first, after the first stint, I started the race. <coughs> I probably did it down the double speed. Those details are a bit hard to catch. And uh, my wife, Chris, who was at every race meeting, invariably would uh, meet me when I got out of the car with a cold towel and a uh, cold drink, cold water. And uh, as uh, I got out of the car, she said through her teeth, you're not hot, you're not hot, you're not hot. <laughs> <laughs> I looked around and the, the gym jockeys, they were lying in ice baths and I was sort of carrying on like uh, I just, um, you know, went to the movies for an afternoon. Yeah. yeah. It's a wonderful track and it's great to come back and, and uh, to relive it, um, particularly with Ben. You were the member for Broadwater at uh, at one point. I know motor racing's got a chair of politics. I'm loving the fact that you don't have to put up with that, mate, and you can just go and <laughs> enjoy your motor racing, keep persisting, and uh, and well done. Well, well I don't know. I, I, I'm on record as saying this very often there's more politics in professional sport than there is in politics. <laughs> <laughs> That's not wrong. That's not so true. <laughs> well, a surname, aren't they? And it's great to see Ben Grice really hitting his straps.